Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Windows troubleshooting malware. A mail security company, Proofpoint, recently found a piece of malware using a novel new technique to try to entice users into interacting with a malicious document. The malicious document takes advantage of a legitimate uh, Windows mechanism called the Windows Troubleshooting Platform. This is essentially a component that allows OEMs and software vendors to create scripts that will automate troubleshooting processes. If you're a Windows user, you may have seen this sort of thing in a program where you can click a troubleshoot button and it might walk you through things like network configuration to make sure that your computer is set up properly. In any case, if your users receive one of these uh, malicious documents, it will look like it's all messed up and you'll get a little pop-up window that says the document is encoded. Click here to actually decode it. Now if you double click this, it's actually going to use the Windows troubleshooting mechanism to run PowerScript in the background which is going to download a botnet onto your computer and further infect your computer. And the reason this new technique is so interesting is it doesn't have the same security pop-ups that uh, Word documents with malicious macros typically have. Rather, it looks like a legitimate Windows troubleshooting process, which some of your users might be used to, which means they're more apt to actually interact with this particular dialog. So what should you do about this? Well, first of all, make sure your users are aware of the threat uh, posed by malicious documents. In fact, this month is actually National Security Awareness Month, so it's a good thing just to keep your users aware in general. But anyways, many users may not realize that documents can be dangerous, so make sure they're aware of that. Make sure if they get documents from unsolicited sources that have any sort of pop-ups, whether they're macro or script warnings, or whether they're these sort of troubleshooting warnings, that they should avoid interacting with these documents at all, or at least until you approve them. Finally, be sure to run antivirus advanced threat protection solutions. In any case, an interesting story. Make sure your users are aware of malicious documents. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.